Good morning, good morning, it's morning. Okay, well, I'm on break, so um, I just thought that I would share this bit of information. Today, um, later today, I go to the surgeon and going to do a follow-up on my back. Um, I should have done it like eight months ago and I'm not proud of that but I was doing so well <laughs> I I didn't think I needed to go back and um so one of my screws was like a little bit out and I kind of I pushed it in <laughs> and I just I don't know stupid me I thought that that would be okay um but I am having some issues so I actually did get my x-rays um we know on Friday so today later I'm gonna find out um if it shows that the screw was loose because I was looking on um YouTube that and and on just Google that can't be a Google doctor, but anyway, um, I was looking on there and it says that both screws are supposed to be um not sticking out, <laughs> supposed to be flush with the like the bone. Um, but I did, I know I pushed it in because I felt it, but. But I didn't feel any pain, so I just thought, well, it wasn't loose. I don't know. But we will find out if I have to have any um, surgery or anything. My brother, I was talking to him about it, and he was pretty sure, like, no, it's just going to be physical therapy and... um you know, whatever else, but I'm just, I'm just really nervous because one, I don't want the doctor to be man, mean to me because I neglected to follow up when I was supposed to. And two, I'm nervous what the outcome's going to be. Um, and I do hate going to the doctor by myself, but uh, what's the outcome going to be? Anybody know? Anybody know where you're going to go when the fall candle drops? I'm just, I don't know. Where are we going to go? What's going to happen? If you know, if you've already had, um spinal fusion surgery and you've had um a loose pedicle screw I think that's what it's called if you've had that please let me know in the comments like how they fix it did they just let it go um I'm thinking I I really can't leave a screw loose in there <laughs> um but we'll see and I'm laughing because that's how I act when I'm a bit nervous. And then I make jokes. And it's not the right way to be, but I do. Um, and I am so thankful um, for you guys watching my videos and going on this journey with me. Um, I'm just thankful because... It's It's been a long road, and it's so many emotions and so many feelings, and I'm a sappy person anyway, um, that it's just a lot, you know? Um, if you guys have had anything in your life that really is a lot to you, like, like emotionally or um, just dealing with physical limitations or whatever it may be, please, if you feel um, 
if if you would like to share in the comments, I would like to read. I would like to for us to talk about these things and encourage each other because it's important to get our health taken care of. And I for one am avoidant of healthcare situations. And I just do not want COVID again. So if I got to go to surgery, I'm wearing a damn mask. Okay. Well, I love you plus ones. And if you are not already subscribed, um, guys, please, please subscribe so that we can grow this community. Um, I am so super thankful. Okay.